Monitoring and evaluation helps you keep track of what's going on with your project. Are things going as planned? If so, why? If not, why not? Now, it may sound complicated, but it's not really if you have an impact analysis to guide you through it. We speak of analyzing and not measuring impact because the truth is reality is far too complex to be put into numbers. This is why we like the term impact analysis. Though closely related, monitoring and evaluation do differ. Monitoring involves collecting information and data at regular intervals. It also involves tracking things like inputs, outputs, and easily tracked results. For example, if your organization provides tutoring services, you can keep track of whether or not students are actually improving their grades. So monitoring allows you to keep track of whether or not progress is being made, but it also allows you to identify changes or unexpected developments that may arise. And in this way, it functions as an early warning system. It allows you to determine if you're on track. When handling complex results, you'll need an evaluation. Evaluation allows you to take a step back and determine whether or not the track you've chosen is the right track, or even if there is a right track. And this can be very important, especially when dealing with unexpected developments. So there are different ways to go about this. You can use focus groups, you can conduct interviews, and you can carry out long-term studies. For example, if you have a project helping youth with apprenticeships, you can, over several years, determine if more youth are getting jobs. Evaluation can take place at different points. You can conduct an evaluation at the end of your project if the point is to demonstrate to funders what's actually changed. However, if you want to implement the lessons learned into future projects, it's much more effective to integrate evaluation into your project from the start. This is the point of impact analysis, learning from, during, and throughout the entire project and making use of this knowledge. So just start talking to your colleagues. You'd be surprised at how much information you already have.